Welcome back, everybody, to a second episode of Cabin in the Clearing. Uh, I will be one of your hosts for today, JP, uh, also known as Justin, uh, rap name JHC. Uh, over here, we got my man Guy, also known as Justin, second Justin, and he has his uh, artist name as Jakur, uh, spelled J-A-K-U-A-R on Instagram. Yes, sir. And uh, yeah, both uh, local musicians. Mm -hmm. uh, just sitting here with some beautiful KOT on the shelf, as you can see. Uh, one of our good friends, Kaoki, uh, White Duck, is actually owns his own business out here in the uh, Gatineau Hills. Um, he uh, craftily named his brand KOT, which is amazing. Uh, so yeah, he basically is a an organic grower. He took horticulture and... Uh, he has a blend of for, uh, so a forest blend here where it's a combination of different herbs so he actually has a labrador tea raspberry leaf sweet fern balsam fir in there just a nice combination of sort of piney you know nice sour tea uh that's the one we're actually drinking at the moment mm -hmm. we've also got moroccan mint lemon verbena and just straight raspberry leaf but yeah it's just a pleasure to be able to indulge in his tea uh he's very passionate about what he does and thought it was a kind of cool way to start off uh start off the episode as well and just talk about it a little bit mm -hmm. uh yeah, so, yeah. exactly no yeah it's honestly it's been uh um, I was just really grateful to have the you know business opportunity. Well, us I guess have the business opportunity to kind of uh, get him as a sponsor because he kind of offered that to us. Absolutely. And uh, and and then yeah, and then it, honestly, just drinking tea every day, it's just like it's been great. It's been helping with the digestion system. You know, there's so many benefits to like, especially like the forest blend, which was actually the first time that I just tried it today. Mm -hmm. um, by the way, we're gonna put uh, a link to uh, his uh, socials in uh, link in the description, yeah, so you guys absolutely. would actually have it. And um, and yeah, and then so. The the website too is going to be up and running pretty soon too and you'll be able to basically ship i think it's going to be nationally for now i don't know about international shipping uh i don't know yeah about that i yet, believe he's just doing it locally for now yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah, but local, yeah, yeah i'm sure like i'm sure he'd be willing to expand for sure oh yeah when and, the time like, comes, and yeah. honestly that was another reason actually going back to what guy was saying about uh him you know agreeing to have kind of a sponsorship with us is honestly we're just we just thought it'd be cool to involve a friend of ours along this journey and also you know we enjoy the tea but also hopefully we can reciprocate the sort of effect that thing you know it has on us by just helping promote his business mm -hmm. uh you know um hopefully helping him expand maybe get more eyes on his stuff you know and we can actually talk about it and it's just you know mm -hmm. plus it's just amazing to see people put in the work and uh 100 yeah, yeah, actually yeah. just like create their own business i guess like uh their own path in life no, exactly. And Kiyoki's been at it for a really long time as well. Uh, so shout out to him, man. Shout out to Kiyoki. I'm glad yeah. we started off the... <laughs> yeah, sh no, shout out to Kiyoki for sure. Um, yeah, again, like I'm just... I, I, I just like drinking tea in general because it, you know, it helps, <laughs> helps with digestive system. There's certain types of tea that help you sleep. Yeah, you know? absolutely. So. And actually, that's what we were talking about earlier. I'm glad you brought that up. Like uh, some of them are more relaxing, but the forest blend actually is kind of a little more elevating because it's got that kind of piney sort of, you know... So yeah, like a little bit of citrusiness, it sort of like brings you up a bit and it doesn't, it, you know, you feel relaxed. Like I feel good right now, but I don't feel uh, sort of lethargic in any way. It's more of a, it's more of a stimulating mm -hmm. sort of tea. And actually, uh, just to go into our points, we were, so we were discussing that, you know, over the podcast, we would maybe just discuss a couple points, uh, but maybe nail down just three sort of, uh, sort of main overlaying topics that we can expand on and then obviously we'll just expand into other ideas have fun it's a conversation you know it's not supposed to be serious so uh yeah one of the ones is going to be local support and business ventures that's another reason we started by talking about kot uh yeah we're just honestly we love the idea of supporting local uh we're trying to support local as much as we can I hope other people are as well because honestly that's the foundation of any community mm -hmm. um 100%. and i kind of wrote local support and business ventures and that was something that guy was bringing up because uh business ventures uh in the sense that obviously karaoke's doing his own business ventures but we have a lot of other friends and relatives and yep. things that are we're very proud of for doing you know their own business ventures and we ourselves are trying to do our own business ventures and cabin is one of them mm -hmm. and uh yeah at, so at, at, at the end of the day too it's not like you know like just even starting like especially during like COVID 19 for instance you know mm -hmm. uh like you know everybody we're going through you know everyone's in tough a way time. going through a tough time you know especially it could be like you know mentally 
physically a lot of people are working from home a lot of people are just like not you know as active and they're not commuting to work every day especially with the new omicron uh variants i don't know if i said omicron correctly or not but you know it's just coming into play with all these different factors right so especially having a business like that's my kind of point that i'm going on is is like having a business isn't always easy you know what i mean no, so 100 if you can get some love from any you know especially from your homies that's that's awesome you know absolutely so I think it's really important to like support uh businesses aren't easy you know it's not it's not easy like you gotta you gotta often it's like not your nine to five you know nine to five it's like you work for the man or whoever you work for you might enjoy your job which is 100% cool like if that's what you grind like I do nine to five you know but like I'm also like trying to do like you know other stuff like podcasting and absolutely doing shit like that for a side playing hustle. music playing music even exactly, though you yeah. enjoy it and you practice it at mm-hmm. night it's like that's that's still like aiming towards your goal yeah exactly you and know, I think the work. goal a goal is like because we're, we're talking about those points we're gonna have to jump on points points because they're all very relative right mm-hmm. but talking about uh, you know kind of bouncing back from okay well look I got a nine to five like you know and this applies to business as well like so that's why i'm just saying it's it's awesome that he's hustling yeah to to kind of like not work nine to five but for a lot of other people who are interested in doing shit like that like you definitely should you know what i mean if that's really something you want to do and you're like but but do it in a way that like don't stress yourself out about it but like take action you know what i mean like even if it's a little bit of time yeah it was like 20 (laughs) minutes on the weekend man like as long as it like you know what I mean? Uh, it, it was, there was a project I was working on and it was like, it took a full year before like, you know, that project came to light. And that was the first time for me personally that, you know, that I actually worked on a project for that long, kept it in the dark. I actually didn't even really tell anyone. Normally I'm like very vocal about my shit. I'm like, yeah. yo, cause I'm just like open and shit. So I don't give a fuck. But <laughs> this is, this, I was like, nah, like I gotta like keep this like moving silence kind of thing, you know, fucking. Well, like, sometimes it's powerful, right? Like, yeah. you know, sometimes it's good to share with friends and share with people a little bit of the journey, but yeah, it's sometimes it is good to like, almost like focus, like you're focusing only yourself on that and you don't have any sort of uh, outside perspectives or anything. And even though that may be good at some point, it's like, if you know that, or you believe in it, mm-hmm. you'll be able to make it happen. No, exactly. Sure. No, ex- that's it. And then making it happen is another thing too. Like, you know, it's like people can get caught up in like this fucking stress. They get caught up in the stress in their brain. They're like, oh, like I have to do it. I have to do it. And it's the whole thing. It's like, oh, well now I have to do it. It's like, it doesn't become enjoyable anymore. Exactly. You know, yeah. It becomes like more extra work. So it's like, it's very fine line between work and pleasure. But like, if you can fucking manage to like add those two together, well, shit, you got yourself the best goddamn tea on that shelf over there. So, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's a good yeah. blend, you know? So Some good stuff. So I think it's important. And so, yeah, in the way, you know, I praise, I praise anybody who's like, you know, I don't want to say like venture capitalist or whatever, but like, you know, especially when it comes to like local, like businesses, well, it's like, uh, like we can even talk about, uh, Jade too. We're going to put some links or maybe even get her on the podcast next time, but yeah. she moved out out West. And if you guys, for you guys who are listening to the podcast, we're located, uh, in the Ottawa Gatineau region, but Canada. So like the capital of, of Canada mm-hmm. essentially. Yeah. And, uh, like right now it's snowing outside. Yeah. You know it's actually I mean? feeling so it's- nice and cozy in here. Uh, the, the, the snow outside actually added to that because mm-hmm. it was one of those mornings that started off very clear and now it's actually covered. Yeah. It's actually, it's snowing pretty, uh, yeah. heavily. We got so our it's- little cabin vibe going, you know, it's warm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, but, and what I meant by, uh, uh, sorry, I said Jade, her name's Jessa. Sorry. Um, is that she's like using recycled clothing, I think. Right to oh, print maybe. yeah yeah i didn't know the recycle part dude yeah, yeah 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 which I made it, that. i was like whoa because she was like trying to get suppliers and she's having a hard time with suppliers and finding like actual like clothing so she just decided to like take clothing and recycle it and like Honestly, dye them that's new. incredible like, i was like whoa that, that's crazy no 100 like, percent. that's like i don't want to be like revolutionary but i mean like it's 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 your 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 cost goes down pretty significantly mm-hmm. you know what i mean it's a good business practice for you but it's also like it's also very beneficial it's just utilizing materials it's uh you know it's making use of things that have already been made like you know and just in general which is obviously the same thing i just said twice but mm-hmm. different ways <laughs> no but yeah, exactly i respect that like, and and the thing too is like she she's doing the same thing it's kind of like our, our friend Kaoki, you know i mean she's like she's working for a company but she has her like thing like part-time right if i understand correctly I believe so. Yes. Yeah. So she's like hustling yeah. on the side too, but 100%. yeah, the, 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 it's, it's really cool. She's doing like merch drops and stuff like that. Yeah, and the, yeah. And I was going to say the printing style looks pretty sophisticated. Like mm-hmm. it's, it's definitely not, you know, it's not messing around. It's legit. And it's just cool that it's a lot of her designs and stuff. And, yeah. And, and so I'm obviously when I get a chance, going to buy some <laughs> and you'll, you'll, you'll be able to see like when we drop our merch, like we're not dropping it yet, but it's going to be like pretty like, you know, in this coming year, we're going to be, we're working on it actually. And we're going to be dropping merch and like, she's going to be one of like the joint people who are going to be like working with so 
show like yeah we she'll be helping out with designs design and logos and all that stuff and stuff like that yeah. so i'm looking forward to like when we actually drop the merch but again it just takes time and you don't want to rush these kinds of things but you also no. want to work on them at the same time right so um and so, again yeah. help those close to you build you know mm -hmm. help those exactly. close to you do their business you know and if it benefits both parties uh you know and plus it just having the fact that you guys are our friends you know it makes it even nicer mm -hmm. you obviously got to be careful with business things and you got to make sure everyone's always fair yeah but it's like man it's just nice to see and help people grow you know yeah no exactly and, and uh, i feel like um i feel like you know there's a lot of like it depends on the person and i'm not saying this for everyone but like i feel like everybody there's a lot of people who are just like want shit right away you mm -hmm. know they're just like oh i i, I like I, I need this to happen for me right now yeah it's like they don't understand it's like the fuck all that bullshit you know you need to fucking understand the process between yeah try not B. to put a timeline on yeah, it yeah there really is just no trying to like just just grind be, be in the moment be like more of like okay it's about the actual process and not the actual end goal Mm -hmm. because that's what's going to like count the most and that's what you're going to remember the most it's it was so the, true was the time that you fucking struggled to climb that mountain just to get to the top you know what i mean that's so true actually if i can interject with a like like a situation that's relative to that just really quick is like mm -hmm. that's exactly how i felt about like my rap music is like i started when i was 18 doing the open mics back in like elmer and shit Edward. and like yeah basically i was considering the fact that oh man it's taking me such a long time and i've been running for so long practicing for so long like this shit this is maybe not gonna ever work out or like maybe i won't ever release anything and it's like but man i just released you know videos recently and like songs and i've been writing more and it's like 29 you know and it's like Actually, it's been a long time but it's 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 like you said you almost like have that idea of giving up but it's like man now i'm here and it's like it's taking me a long ass time but it's so worth it and like i'm still here no hundred percent. there's I, no set time no right. there is no and like it's like the whole thing too Same it's like, you um it's actually a question i wanted to ask you too mm, actually because mm. yeah, i hear a lot of it like especially in the rap industry people are always like yo like you know drake said he was gonna stop rapping when he's like i think 30 or 35 mm, or some shit yeah. i can't remember what it was um and uh and yeah i just want to know what's your take on that yeah i mean i guess that's that's maybe a perception i don't know exactly like the whole detail behind that but I guess that's a perception in the industry might be that, you know, so you people get, get old, old. You it's can't like, but what happens can't do anything, Eminem but... just comes back and just fucking exactly. and slays tracks like the way that he yeah. did, you know? And it's like, yes, of course, he's already built a foundation of fame, but, you know, like ahead of time and done really good things when he was young, but it's like the fact that he still holds on to it just shows. The is fact, it... it shows the fact that skill and talent and just like ambition will stand out regardless of is it because is it because like, hip hop is like, is kind of related to just like being young, hip? um because i was no, i, I just heard that saying, in a, a documentary i mean it could potentially be again like a perception some people have but i think it's more just you know i mean obviously a lot of hip-hop is based around a younger generation coming up obviously mm -hmm. for the most part but there's definitely like older people in it as well um but yeah i guess like i don't know i, I guess like the the it's changed a bit because i don't look at it anymore as hip-hop well i mean it's still obviously hip-hop is a culture like there's no doubting that and there's yeah, no changing that and like the legends are the legends that people are like i mean that's what's influenced me over time mm -hmm. but i just mean that music in general uh has come to a place where we can all kind of you know we can do hip-hop that's a little bit different and you could be a certain age group and it doesn't necessarily have to fit a certain theme but you can still be just as talented it's like you got to pay respect to the people who broke hip-hop into the industry and mm -hmm. made it a revolution you know and made like and also just helped like a lot of people break through their struggles you know and like shine a light on also just a lot of bad that the government does in the community to communities and people and you know it's mm -hmm. a lot of bullshit, and, like, Real I don't shit. Get, yeah exactly and it's yeah, yeah. you know and it's like i i have and that's why i love hip-hop so much and that's why i want to do it you know and it's funny because i actually had that thought before i was like am i really like too old am i like the right type of person to even do hip-hop like is there any is there any reason i shouldn't like well i mean look at harry mack but i don't care yeah <laughs> like, harry it's, mack's it, got some grays on his head you know like it's like because <laughs> well and i think about it and i'm like the type of stuff i do is like i just like have a message and it's the same with like the music we write together too it's like you just try to have a message you know that's true like, yeah like music doesn't have an age like yeah you know? yeah exactly just, and I, I, like, could, I could talk about the most random shit like it doesn't even really matter you know because it's like if people like it and you like it and you vibe with it like people will fuck with it you know yeah. it's like well like man i mean just to, just just in jazz to too fake like it, i guess like west montgomery you know he's a fucking really is crazy known for the octave master but west montgomery like from what i heard i don't know if like i'm pretty sure this is this is true but 
Yeah, I well, think he started playing guitar really, really late. <laughs> he started playing guitar like around like 19, which is fucked because he was like a fucking, he played with like Miles Davis, he was like a jazz innovator. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Which is crazy like for a guitar to, to start playing guitar at 19, but he didn't fucking stop. He played for like until he, you know, until he died and, mm -hmm. you know, he was well over 40 in his 40s at one point. He was just master at guitar. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, I, thought, I don't think music has an age. Also, too, like playing blues, like, you know, I'm a blues player, right? And it's so it's like, it's almost like what what the situation you were just describing, but reverse. And it's re in reverse in the way that it's like, oh, well, you're too young to play the blues. You mm -hmm. don't understand the blues because you're not fucking 90. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm exaggerating yeah, yeah. a bit, but no, you know what I, I mean? I understand what you mean, But yeah. like, yeah, but like, I don't know, for me, it was like, I was like, I don't know even know why I had to learn. Like, it was like weird. I was like, it was like, a, I have to learn blues because if I learn blues, I'll be good at guitar. Yeah, you know what I mean, and it's because it's what you like too. It's the type of uh, notes and rhythms that you like out of yeah. out of guitar, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know. And you you definitely have your own style. What's kind of cool is like I can obviously compare your style to like Stevie Ray Vaughan or like mm -hmm. Hendrix and shit, but yeah, yeah. it's like you, I, I hear you play, and like you definitely have your own tone and oh, your own sound, yeah, yeah. your own even just like your own licks, like your own. Like I can tell you've built the foundation off of like old school blues standards and like and obviously yeah, like yeah, artists yeah. and stuff, but I can tell there's just like this fluctuation of I don't know, like your solos and stuff that is clearly you playing. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I'm always cool. trying to like develop. Like I've had yeah, like, that's, sick, that's one thing I felt like I was fortunate for like the whole type that I've like, because I know that like I sound like me, you know what I mean? Mm. Like I know like I'm an, like I'm original in my own sounding. Oh, yeah. And, and to the point when I mean original, I just mean like I feel like when I play, I'm more me, mm -hmm. you know? But like, yes, I'm very, very heavily influenced by like fucking Steve Ray Vaughan and like BB King and Hendrix. Like you'll hear like the, you know, there's John Mayer, you're just like, you know, of like uh, Power of Soul kind of riffs, you know what I mean? Like, you know, um, like you'll you'll tell I've fucking listened to like a, to Hendrix and, and Sierra. Oh, like, dude, yeah. That is, but it's in every single like guitar player, blues guitar player, like nowadays. Oh, for like, sure. And they're modern definitely day, the, like, I definitely have the Hendrix looks in there. But also like, you know, <laughs> also trying to like develop like cool styles that like I think is are important to learn. Like Robin Ford, I know you probably maybe not know Robin Ford, but he's he's, he's he played with Miles Davis too as well. But he's he's a master and like just like you know going into like the current blues guys because I st I still follow this a lot like uh, Josh Smith and then you got uh, uh, Matt Schofield uh, Eric Gales like those type of people was Eric Gales the one you showed me that played with that bass player live in that little like jam session room I think so yeah he has like okay, chains and shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Super Gita, a fucking dope ass style. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. That's yeah. Anyway. So so like yeah. So it's like I don't know. So basically like you know if, there's been times where like I, people have told me like you know older people like actually I think it only happened once maybe but it was just like oh like you're young you know playing the blues and blah blah and I was like and it's happened to a lot of other kids too mm -hmm. like you know um, there's that uh, I don't know if you know his name's like Lee Jensen or whatever he's like a blues uh right yeah it's like really good anyways he's super young you know and I don't think it's happened to him maybe but I could imagine it happening to other kids you know what I mean who are yeah. young and like they just play blues and it's like fuck man like they're just trying to play guitar like they're just trying to like learn cool shit you know dude absolutely so it's like i don't think in general like even across hip-hop across jazz across blues across any type of fucking music that there should be any type of age limit and it, there is no, really for sure because it's it's like, at the end of the day the music is a language it's well, a, like you could we could be sitting in the room and like you know we could be chilling with like somebody who's uh you know from a different culture like you know they could be like i don't know uh any type of culture let's say like because i can't speak you know uh cantonese for instance and let's say somebody else is sitting beside me and like they can't speak english or something you know but it, just by like playing guitar and playing music we'd be able to communicate mm. with each other you know what i mean i see what you mean just like facial expressions almost no no like, like literally like we'd be able no, to I communicate like music. how uh like i just mean sorry like how like facial expressions like you smile or like you do certain oh, things like yeah. you're able to understand someone's body language it's the yeah. same thing it's like yeah you're projecting through music like you're mm -hmm. yeah no, exactly. i totally agree man that's that's actually and i I've seen that happen i was in thailand man i was in chiang mai and i went to this place called the north gate uh north gate jazz co-op dude there was like people from south africa there There was people from like the uk like uh there was uh, what, what obviously a bunch of like thai musicians as well uh it was jazz like, co -op? yeah yeah it was straight up a bar man it was just some little no, bar I... near the north gate in right. in uh in chiang mai yeah and it was like I went there one night and I was just having a beer with some guy named Guy. Actually, I'm not joking. That's fucking his, his hilarious. Name, but his like legal birth name was Guy. That's fucking funny. Uh, and he's from South Africa, man. And he was like a musician, like almost like folky style. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, he was just chilling. He's like, he's like, man, this place is sick, you know. And he's like, uh, people just come from all over the world and they hang out here, but then there's like 
a bunch of musicians that lived there and stuff and then they just collab man and it was straight up like a random guy on drums like a random guy on bass a random guy on keys and they played like crazy jazz shit and they just switched between man i have videos somewhere i swear but like yeah it was sick anyway just exactly what you're saying like who even knows like i didn't go super far in the situation i drank beers with people outside and i chilled you know and i just mm -hmm. watched because it was a very big crowd and they were like packed um this is pre-covid too obviously oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. before it was like oh, early cool, cool 2017 or like somewhere in there oh, okay and yeah and it was straight up like um again like you were saying I, I don't even know or not but it's like some of those people might not have actually been able to even communicate with each other you know depending on language barriers maybe you never know but mm -hmm. uh but they were there and they were in the essence of it and they were just jamming you know and some people were just like kind of even like on hand drums just doing like okay like even, even like some people you could tell like it's like they didn't play all the time but they were just Oh, having yeah. a good time you know jamming anyway it was sick like no it's true yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome yeah I, I love that about jamming man just in general like some people are just like not that great and it's fine like you don't have to be this fucking because like, it's a vibe thing so sometimes yeah, people just, like, like there they're trying yeah. they're just trying to be a part of it it's like how can you fucking shit on somebody for, for just being that you know what i mean 100 like, percent, man unless Makes you're a fucking better. tool unless <laughs> you're a fucking piece of shit yeah you know what i mean so anyway but yeah <laughs> oh and going back to um <laughs> yeah but like just oh yeah one more point i was gonna make on the rap thing is just yeah that's what i find cool about hip-hop too is that like i have a very different style and like just random approach to like the way i write and stuff but it's very much based off of just so much classic hip-hop mm -hmm. that i love that has inspired I me so much you know what i mean and it's like man. and it's like love what i it. like about that is like maybe i might not be talking about the same things that developed hip-hop you yeah. know or maybe it's a different like time and maybe i'm at a different age whatever but it's like it comes from the influence of like th those people that i respect and love like you know what i mean that it's just like i see you, you saw their struggle and like how they broke through barriers and stuff and it's like fuck man like all i want to do is just make hip-hop because i love it but also to spread and i love doing it and it's like to also just spread a good vibe like that's you know a lot of my music is just kind of like i'm just sometimes i spit some like heavy bars and stuff <laughs> like, or like hard bars i should say but yeah yeah it's like i like to just i don't know talk about like r real life shit what about freestyle because like, I, I see a lot of people are freestyling i was watching one on uh yeah, freestyling sneakers cool, or man. whatever and it was russ and uh, i don't know if it was a freestyle or if you had it like pre-rehearsed or whatever yeah. but like sometimes shit he said was like fucking man it was yeah. just like i listened to the whole thing like it wasn't long it was like two minutes but like i literally like went back and like i listened to it like three times That's over sick. just because it was like holy fuck like I, you gotta listen to like what people are saying sometimes because dude totally he spits truth you know and like you know and like i'm not hating on on like trap music or anything you know but like there's just like there's a difference you know what i mean there's yeah. a difference in terms of quality of like especially when what you're trying to convey and that you know you do convey like you're honest with your music which is something that's like influenced me honestly which is great but it's like you know it's always about bitches money fucking guns all this shit you know yeah. and it's like man well like i get that that's like the culture and like it can be like an environment you know when you're rapping about it it's different like i feel like it's like I've, I've i've seen interviews about it and a lot of people talk about it so i've had time to reflect on it but like it's it's like you're you're, you're rapping about the actual like you know environment and the culture mm -hmm. but that's that's 100 percent because you're talking about like what your environment is but like i feel like when you trap so a lot not i'm not saying all trap you know and i'm probably gonna get some you... fucking hate for this but like there's a bit of like you know there's a bit of like guns money you fucking fucking bitches and that's all they're talking about which is no, like, no for sure like there's some people where it's like no no dude i totally agree it's like there's some where they're conveying actual realities like they're conveying actual realities of their environment and stuff like that and mm -hmm. it's like maybe it's true trap music which is totally fine and stuff but then there's definitely some that's just like they're just utilizing it as a as a play as, yeah. a, as a like an yeah. image it's a fucking like, business, like, and it's just gotten to the point though where it's oversaturated it's, it's like you can't it is. like and again not to like, like people fucking, can do it for real whatever but it's like man it's it's like now it's just sat to the point where you don't know who's telling what like who's actually serious or not yeah it's just people and, and like you said like i've even heard people say they're like if, you know for the video they're like yeah we like bought like rented a bunch of like guns and stuff and like rented a bunch of shit and then like, just made a video you know and, mm -hmm. and like i don't no, know it's it's, it's, dude, it's yeah music it's like, is music and entertainment is entertainment but sometimes it's just like people are influenced by this kids are influenced by these things you what's know the, like what's, <laughs> the, what's the fucking video what's the fucking video out of one of one of one of figaro figaro Oh, I uh, know words by Hobson. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, Hobson yeah, is a yeah, fucking yeah. really good. He has like his big I ass cop there. He's just like fucking yeah. lean juice. And <laughs> shit. Like, he had like six. Like, you know how they had the double cup? He got like yeah, six yeah. of them stacked up. And he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, hit him with my reaver and my auto real quick. <laughs> Dude, and it was like, it sounded so like good. 
Like even like like it like it, it, it was it locked, actually it was, was fucking a, it was a lit on, track. Right? Like, yeah. It was fucking gun and shit. And it was fucking like anyway. It just it made me laugh. And then but the it, end, he's like <laughs> he's like, and then it's, it's the mumble listen. rappers. That's what that's what totally. everybody's fucking saying. Totally. You know? Yeah, because it's just uh, it's again it's cool to it's cool to talk about like your reality and your environment. It's not that like and there's nothing wrong with trap. It's like you said. It's just it's just the ones that it's like when you're just like faking it. It's just it's gotten to a point in life where. Fucking people don't care about that. Like maybe people do, man. Like maybe people are entertained by it. But I'm just like I personally, like this is just my personal opinion. It's like I don't give a fuck like about that kind of stuff. You know, it's like I want to see growth and development and like humanity, and like mm. people it's, like inspired to like do better and like do be better. Saying about over saturation, like, though. You know, yeah. And it's just kind of the point too, where it's just like people are disrespectful, and you're just like living to this fucking standard of of uh, or like a lot of people anyway are living to this fucking standard that that, that uh, like makes them emotionally unstable. Like it's it's just like they're trying to like push themselves to be like a, a something that they're seeing everywhere but it's it's like a fake like it's a fake achievement and you're not really going to get anywhere necessarily you're just going to blow all your money in the end and then just be like on heavy drugs or whatever and it's like you know no disrespect it's like i've fucking i've done drugs before you know <laughs> what you mean like i'm not i'm not disrespecting people for doing drugs i'm just saying that it like it's like why lead into that knowingly if you can just like if you can actually like focus on your on your shit and like do so, do your life so in a way that, that, that's good for you you know was, be healthy was, and happy and i was driving the other day actually and yeah, there was just really uh actually if you could hook me up with some tea that'd be dope dude, hell yeah but yeah I'm no I was, gonna... I was driving uh i was driving the other day and there was this thing there's this doctor it was a radio show that came on and it was the most interesting like thing that i've actually ever heard yeah. and it was talking about like like delusions you know what I mean? And mm. how, like, the human brain and yourself, like, as a conscious human, yeah. like, create delusions, uh, like, day to day. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, oh, like, like for instance, like, delusions in the sense that, like, okay, like, they think, oh, if I do this, then this will happen. Like, this is the result, you know? Yeah. And so it's almost like it's a delusion. It's like a lie that you tell yourself. But a lot of those times, those some, certain delusions can be positive because it's how you manifest life, right? Yeah, I see it what you mean. It's the most interesting, interesting thing, man, honestly. Like, certain thoughts will actually promote, like... A spark that'll yeah that'll get you going but i see what you mean like sometimes it's like you might uh you might be trying to live up to something yeah you're, no you're, you're exactly told and it won't actually work for you like, mm -hmm. kind of thing if that makes yeah. sense Does that, is that what you're saying like well well kind of like we just we tell ourselves these fucking delusions right we tell ourselves these these delusions and it's like it's like a it's a way to like i don't know reassure what you're doing in that present time that present yeah. tense you know it's like oh uh, i'm just trying to think of an example like you're like oh, okay um you know, it's like uh, delusions, like, uh, you know, like even just buying something, for instance, you know, if you're like trying to buy something, you're like, oh, okay, I'm going to wait till I get paid and then I'm going to like buy, buy that. Like, I think it's a good idea. And then uh, it's kind of, it's like, you're, it's, in a way, it's kind of like a delusion. You're like, I guess buying would not really be the greatest example. I can't really think of an example, to be honest. Yeah. But anyway, it was just really, really interesting. I'd have to look more into it, but, um, but yeah, I'm just getting a spooner. <laughs> I didn't realize it was but uh, yeah, no, I know. It's just like I just feel like it's it was really really interesting, and honestly, it was like yeah, I'd have to look more into it. But <laughs> I love the shadow of the tea, to be honest. Yeah, it's so crystal clear, man. Just to like yeah, just finishing up though on that point, like I guess just kind of to wrap up the whole like just like music industry thing is like man, do whatever art you're gonna do, do it. Like man, I'm not I'm not harping on people for making music. Like that's you know it sounds almost savage, but it's just like there's just an oversaturation of shit that's not good for people you know and it's like and i just know it mm -hmm. and it's like whatever if you're gonna do it you're gonna do it but you know i'm gonna give my opinion on it i guess <laughs> and it's like but it's like i even have friends that do like trap style music you know and there's nothing oh. like that's what i mean there's nothing oh. wrong with it like it's fucking sick dude that's the thing sorry man I, I i i actually remember what i was going i was using i was, I was trying to say yeah, like yeah. buying something if, like for a delusion but i just thought it and that this was actually super relative to your point it's of course like, yeah it's yeah. the delusion of like oh well if i get like if i do if i live this life then this is how like you know like delusions of like like doing drugs like you were saying and, like yeah the your mental health and shit's gonna fucking you might as well just well that's flush it. No, it down the fucking dude, drain that's so that's, that's what i mean that's it's a exactly. delusion that you it's a, it's not it's a that's what i mean it's a non-existent fucking delusion that like you think that if i do this this is going to be the result you yeah know? Like, it'll be a positive one but really it's like has it ever been a positive outcome really? like i have right. to starve myself in order to appreciate food you know like shit like that that could be another delusion for instance mm. you know what i mean no no for sure so that's what i meant by that and it's like no no and i'm, I'm glad you said it too because that's yeah, like that yeah that's a really good point mm. like that like the idea that um we have to promote a lifestyle 
that's just going to get someone hooked. You know what I mean? And like the idea that you have to go out there and just like promote a lifestyle where it's like, yo, all you need is this shit and you'll be dope, you know? And like get, exactly. get fucked up, you know? And like do this shit and like, the fucking roll up but the it's club. like, why do that? And again, like do your thing and I or whatever, but it's like, why do that when we could be out here fucking doing what original hip hop did and like good hip hop did and like, you know, promoting like change, you know, like promoting yeah. change and like, uh ambitious and ambition in people yeah exactly yeah. consciousness like like changing the situation for humanity as a whole like as and and make humanity better you know and like mm -hmm. and and create like i don't know just create opportunity it's like that's why it's like why folk like this it's oversaturated with shit that's keeping us in fucking glued to one spot as opposed to letting us rise you know mm -hmm. like and that's the part that just kind of bugs me is that it's like i want to promote growth in in humanity man because it's like we're constantly ev evolving especially with shit and the way it is and how negative the earth can be it's like yeah. why not do a positive ripple effect you know in some way mm -hmm. no 100 percent. no i think it's uh yeah no i think it's important to uh to to kind of like you know it depends on the person but to gravitate towards more of you know music in general that is more conscious or that resonates with you know yourself yeah. more than like it would be about like you know i'm it's obviously getting whether turns it's simple and shit, or complex it, like, it doesn't have to be super complicated it can be a simple ballad it can be whatever but it's just you know the the intention behind things yeah is it no exactly roll i like that you brought up that point on just uh delusions though because like that's pretty cool so yeah, you were listening to a radio station. Was it just a doctor on a on an interview? Yeah, it was a doctor on an interview talking about like delusions and shit. Nice. Well, thank you for bringing that up because it was it was a cool connection. But that's what I meant. I it was it. like basically. But it makes like, sense. Yeah. Yeah, the delusion of like you know you're getting fucked up and shit and you're going to like you need to you know party and do drugs to essentially like make it you know which no, is a yeah. huge fucking lie. And it's like it's a really it's a, at the end of the day it's like you kind of got to like I think Jay Cole talked about this too a while back when he did an interview with a uh, little pump or whatever, and he's like yo you you know you got all this you got a platform you know you like you you got to send a good message out you can't oh, just be bro. telling all these young kids and like even Russ speaks about it and I'm so uh, glad you brought that up yeah that, that's what I was going with and even Russ talks about it too is like he uses his platform to like you know educate and like and even if he's like affecting maybe like you know two thousand people if he goes on like a live story. And he like talks to you directly in a way, you know, he'll spread more like that's going to that's what's going to resonate. And that's that's what's going to stay with people. Yeah. You know, it's like community one on one, like almost totally like, you know, it's going to resonate more with people. And and yeah, that's how you kind of create like a, a true following. Like, you know what I mean? In a way, like that's how you like like people admire you because you believe in something that's very very positive and very good totally that and enhancing like, your own life you yeah know? it's gonna help you and others. you know it's not about like oh yo let's go get fucked up and like and it brings it it brings me to the point we had before about teamwork man like just like teams in general when it comes to succeeding is like especially when it's people that you can trust and respect and like uh you know it's like you look at all this these successful people obviously so many people have like built their own way and like succeeded on their own through their own uh through their own uh effort but everyone's got a team man like like artists like you know uh whatever like people who do um podcasts people who do shows like talk shows things like that mm -hmm. like there's a team there's a foundation always running it you know mm -hmm. and obviously in big productions and shit like that on tv like you need that or, uh, or else it can't run but even in this small of a situation we're, we're a team Kaoki's technically part of this as well mm -hmm. all the people we're going to interview is going to be uh, are going to be part of it uh people who sit in the background and help us out with ideas even last night we were with just a couple of close friends and we were like uh doing like uh postering a uh post you know for posting and also just for promotional ads things like that and just basically like trying to uh you know trying to have something that looks sophisticated but well laid out and concise but also uh anyway sorry I'm, I'm getting off track here but basically just talking about like uh using other people to, uh, not using other people but like having other people give ideas and i yeah. just like we use people yeah, for their yeah, brain yeah. 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 yes no it, uh, <laughs> it's like strap someone down to a chair and <laughs> yeah. just like can't leave until you yeah. tell me fucking all, all the right. shit i need to know what <laughs> the fuck is the title gonna be yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what's the description <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah no exactly yeah no, who are we tagging i get what you're saying though yeah man what no. i was trying to do like last night in general is just because i think that it's like it's cool because instead of like thinking like oh like i can fucking do this alone like i'll you know what I mean? And like, yeah, you can, 
but like why not like do like an exercise like they, they teach just i think they teach us in like fucking kindergarten or like grade one or grade two you know what i mean it's like exercising is like you take a piece of paper and then you like think of different words and yeah. then uh, like and then you build a tree with all the different oh, yeah, words totally. that are like super relative that's a great key for writing songs yeah man. so you just yes yeah, yeah, exactly you do it for songs but you do the same thing with people like man you people are in the room like last night and shit we're just trying to like collab and like find us like a, something cool to say and then you come in you're like you were talking about because we're doing a post for like uh Kaoki's business like on on t uh, for his facebook or whatever and then we're just helping him out you know and then yeah and then it was just like this the thing that you said and then just like i added to like the phrase and i was like oh dude and then i got inspired and then people in the back were like yo what if you talk about this and then like yeah but it can yeah. also work against you at the same time because if you look at them we're trying to build like just the, the picture of fucking yeah. thing and then like you start over fucking thinking shit in terms of like oh should this fucking piece go over here should this design go in this corner and then like you're trying to build like this fucking thing and yeah, and you're start like, playing tricks. and yeah. then it's like <laughs> and then you just start going down this fucking rabbit hole and it's like it gets fucking dangerous yep. real quick you know because you just can't like you can't like you, you that's why simplicity is also important so again it's like i think it's balancing in that but they're just the, the 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 idea the training the exercise itself yeah, absolutely i think is very important to kind of adopt and just like just not really just like you know put away any fears like um yeah just like try shit like yeah, like, as just simple as shit. that terminology is, or yeah. uh, that's that phrase is, it's just like just trash it. Like, and it's like fuck it. You know, if it doesn't work, at least you tried it, and then you have an idea of how to develop yourself, as opposed to just being like ah, whatever. Like, it's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. like, fuck that. No, it's like, the same thing. It's the same thing. Even like for I me, used to think like, I like, like even just like with fucking you know like asking like a chick for her number or something. You know, like I was always like a, like kind of like you know afraid. I was always like oh like you know and like what's the worst that can happen? That's just like a fear thing. You know, like it's just a thing that you have to get over and uh and yeah and i've done it before like like not too long ago and like it worked one time you know what i mean but it was like the whole like you know i'm using that as an example just because it was like a fear thing right and so this can apply to like anything that you do uh especially when it comes to like new ideas it's just like oh, there's just kind of like fear that's blocking you but it's really about just like trying to overcome that fear but also at the same time if you think about it it's good you need that fear because that's what was going to drive you it's going to like yeah. push you to like overcome that you know what i mean so Fear is, uh, in a weird way, a powerful tool. It's like... It can be a driver for a lot of forces. Yeah, man. like it's... I mean, fear in, in itself really is just like the uncertainty, right? Like a lot of times, there's a lot of dynamics to fear, I guess. But mm -hmm. it's like that's that's one for me is that creates fear is uncertainty. So it's like you're uncertain of the outcome, your financial standpoint, your success rate, like whatever it may be that, okay, is this actually going to pan out? everything um, everything going back to business yeah it's it, always uncertainty 100 percent fear yeah man but you it's like gotta take it's risks. cool because if you look like if i look at my fear for example and i classify it as uncertainty instead yeah. of, instead of fear mm -hmm. it's just like there's that anxiety and there's that like well uncertainty <laughs> but uh it's more of like a driving force because it's like okay well i'm uncertain of the outcome but like fuck you know like i'm living now life is what it is do i want to do this or not yes is my heart in it yes then just like be uncertain and then be certain that the outcome will be what you want it to be if you actually work for it mm -hmm. you know so, it's 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 a fine line too between you know milkshake and fries you know uh quoting that from dave Chappelle. but uh <laughs> but uh but no honestly yeah it's a fine line between not actual milkshake and fries <laughs> but it's a fine line between actually like action and 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 just thinking about it right because it's yeah, like man. oh i want to do all these things i want to do all these things you know and like fuck yeah that's great that's fucking awesome you know that's great that you have all these fucking ideas you know yeah. but shit's not just nobody's just gonna come over and be like oh fuck how are you doing man like you got, <laughs> you got a fever like Take a break well, or something. I know, you know what you mean, like, no, cause... man. Nobody's gonna give you a handout. You know, you gotta, gotta, you gotta hustle and work yeah. for it. You know what I mean? And well, like, I feel like a lot of people just don't understand that. Like, they was like either they, you know, and I'm not, I'm not singling out anybody in general, but I'm just saying. Like, I've only recently come to understand it too. You know, like, it's yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was, I'm learning. It's a lesson I'm learning for myself. To be yeah, completely honest, so it's like, and and it's it's a really awesome motto for me, uh, honestly. And it's kind of like uh, just like little tricks to like help you know you succeed mm -hmm. his old things like just even uh even going to like you know how like you know uh just working out you know and it's like you know you're like oh i'm tired i'm feeling tired today 
you know yeah. what I mean? And then I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah, I know, I kind of get that. And then I get in that mindset a bit, and then and then like one of us will be like, no, no, fuck that. Like we're not fucking, yeah. we're not, we're not, yeah. we're not being a bitch today. We're gonna fucking actually put in like 40 minutes, at least 40 minutes in like today is 40 minutes is not much for a quick workout no, do a couple no. push-ups get especially your doing that consistently like that's not that long no yeah, it's like, not 40 minutes out of your whole day like it's it's no. fuck all so like you know so like if it helps so it's like a, a quick 40 minutes like a quick 40 minute workout and then it, it's become like now it's became like it, it's, it became a term where it's like we call it quick 40 and it means you yeah. know go downstairs yeah. in the basement <laughs> And do a quick 40, like do fucking push ups and like work out quick. And the you funny know? contrast to that is we do, like, we have had those days where we're both like, no, we're actually tired. Like, we're actually physically, like, <laughs> like exhausted today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. we've recouped. I think we mentioned that last time a little bit, but yeah, but it's like, we have these terms, exactly like I just said, we had these terms we came up with, and it stimulates you. You know, it's all of a sudden you're just like, but it's the tone behind it even too it's not just like it's not the term quick 40 it's like no yo quick 40 yo like quick 40 it's just like and you're just like fuck and then you think about it you're like well 40 minutes i mean i got like three hours i mean it's not really that long yo quick 40 bro and you're like oh fuck man man i've been lying in bed at like nine in the morning sometimes and then you just hear like scratching on the door and it's just like yo bro like (laughs) quick 40 and i mean you know what i got my ass out of bed and fucking did a quick 40 that's you know and uh, we came up (laughs) you know that's what happened and then and then Here's a, I go, here's another one. This is this is one that uh, this is guy started this one. Yeah, this is yeah. I was like, oh, you don't think I won't do ten right now? So it started. Out, I, I thought you started that. Kind uh, of. Oh, maybe I did start that. I don't know. I, I think but, I, I said it like I was like because the thing is is like oh you don't think I'll do ten? Like, yeah, like ten yeah. what right? Like ten pushups. So like oh, I think, yeah, I, think I was like, like I was like I, I think like I, I said it like I was like oh you don't think I'll do ten? But I think you're the one who actually coined it. Like you made it something. It's like yeah, you don't think I'll do ten or oh, like and then did the 10. twenty, and then like and then, and then the he gets on the ground the and just starts <laughs> doing ten push-ups, and then like it's almost like well, okay, well, fuck you. First of all, you can't one up me. I'm not gonna <laughs> let that happen. So I get on the ground, and start doing ten push-ups too, you know. And it, these these are like techniques to to fucking motivate each other, right? In order to like it, it helps when you have like someone who's like just as motivated you, uh, you know, on certain different times because yep. then it like drives you, and that's what personal trainers do, right? Totally, but, dude. But also, Sungi did that, man. Shout out Sungi fitness yeah like, no, so you know, fitness. he's uh, like way back it took me a bit of time to still develop but it's just like i i got into the routine and i think about him inspiring me all the time and and the whole thing too is like another technique too is like this one i coined for sure but it's like it's like uh it's it's like you know you're trying to do something and then you're like oh yeah you want to do 40 you're like oh i'm not feeling good man like you're not even not feeling good i'm just oh, i'm tired like i didn't get sleep <laughs> but, I'd be, but i'd be down tomorrow <laughs> I'd be down tomorrow morning. I got some time before. And then I was like, tomorrow? I was like, fuck. I was like, that sounds like you're like tomorrow. Like that's, that's, you're a tomorrow guy. Like, oh no, I'll do, I'll do it tomorrow. You know what I mean? So, oh, then, so oh, you're going to do it tomorrow like some oh, kind of okay. fucking tomorrow guy. Yeah, so tomorrow guy was, was a coin that I coined. It was something that I coined. I'm fucking laughing. But, but, uh, yeah, no, it was like, oh, okay, oh, so you're gonna funny. you're gonna be a tomorrow guy, I guess. And he was like, what do you mean? And I was like, well, you're gonna be a f- like, it sounds like a tomorrow guy thing to do. And you're like, oh, fuck, you're right. Like, and that's, and then basically what that is is just like a realization of procrastination. It's like, oh yeah, I could do nice, it tomorrow, well said. <laughs> but 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 really, like, all it is is just yeah, it's another like way to procrastinate. Like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. It's like no, fuck yeah, that. it's another exactly. It's your brain. It's your brain creating something. It's yeah. like it's like you would have even talking about earlier about setting the shit up. It's like kind of just like a little brain synapse shooting out being like ah this is gonna be good i just yeah, fucking it's, lays it's, out and then i was just kind of like fuck that like kept setting up but it's, yeah exactly in meditation just, we we call it like it, that's actually good in meditation sorry. we call it the the monkey brain and the monkey brain always has these thoughts that just fly out they're like spears almost and they yeah. just jab and they just fly out fly out and this is like technique and shit that i'm not i'm not saying i'm a vet at and i've just been learning about it slowly but like yeah the monkey brain which is basically it's like you know to not it's really like more to, primal like to kind of just accept that these 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 thoughts are there and just let them flow you know and just 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 understand and be conscious of them you know what i mean yeah so, and just try to see past a little yeah, bit no like, exactly because you're right it's like even saying tomorrow got like it's like all it's, of a sudden a all of a sudden my brain switches from uh, sorry i was waiting <laughs> yeah. my brain switches from procrastination like it's literally just like it's literally like yeah i just kind of created that idea of tomorrow 
yeah, of this just, tomorrow guy. Yeah, this, this I, bean. I was like, do you want to be a tomorrow guy? And, and I was like, like, I, like I, don't, I don't want to be a tomorrow guy. Like, you know, and then, yeah, and then I visualized myself in a t-shirt that said today. And I was just like, yo, I'm a today guy. Man. Today. Fuck it, yo, we're going to drop some merch. It's just today guy. <laughs> today guy. Honestly, yeah. Dude, honestly, that actually <laughs> would be kind of cool. Today guy. You got to make the design worth it. But. You know, like, uh, are, you, are you a tomorrow guy? I like question. Like, that's like a motivation, <laughs> like, anti-procrastination Yo, technique. copywritten. That, yeah, you heard right. it here first. Well, of course, it's copywritten. We because this will be online. Yeah, and it's yeah, online yeah. And shit, yeah. If you don't agree, quick forty. It's like you're fucking. It's like now you're like a bitch. You know. It's like even for me. It's like when you said it to me, it's like, well, I don't want to be a bitch. But like maybe it's like nine o'clock. Maybe like 9 I'm, I'm like I'm down to do it, but just not now. Like maybe I could do it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> And then you go, you're just like, nah, dude, well, it sounds like a tomorrow guy thing to say. Yeah. And you're like, shit, now it's like I'm double bitch, you know? And I don't, <laughs> yeah, double you, bitch. You know what I mean? So it's, it's like, like, well, now I feel fucking even more stupid. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. So it's like, it, it, it's been, it's been really interesting because it, it really helps to be honest with uh, motivation. And like, yeah, at the end of the day, if these techniques are what, what's helping you, you should do it, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I think it's really important to coin techniques or just anything it can be anything it can be anything at all oh, yeah. there's a lot of humor associated to it oh, which is speaking which is of great. the humor well here here's the humorous part leading to actual uh like accumulation of strength so mm -hmm. it started going back to the oh you think i won't do 10 right now it's like we we did that all the time we think i won't do 10 and then there was that one day where i think we had done this like real right after workout too so it was hard but it was like oh you think i won't do 20 oh you think i won't do 20 and then it was like back and forth and then we did that in three sets so we did 60 yeah in like three sets of 20 so you did like yourself rest yeah. for a couple minutes but we were like going back and forth doing it like, throughout it's the like day. not only that we pushed ourselves to do 60 push-ups by giving ourselves a break but you're just like laughing because you're watching the other guy like and you're just like motherfucker and yeah, just, yeah. Like, it's like you can't one up me yeah like, it's like, it becomes it's like, a game uh, yeah all your, all your, all your it pain and stuff. exactly yeah. all your pain stuff goes away because you're like wow it's just like i'm gonna be tired after anyway i might as well hustle and try yeah, to get through this just do it. and then it's so now just just to really quickly finish up on it sorry it was just the the fact that now it's 30 well, so that, that, I was just about to say that. Honestly, it. I can tell you. I was just about to say yeah, that. I was like, it seems it's... like they're just like slow. It was like 10. Now it's 20, 25. Now it's 30. Yeah. And like, we will literally, no joke, I will be fucking in the kitchen making coffee, just doing my thing. And he will come down. He's like, oh, Yo, you think I will do 30 right now? And he gets on the ground and I'm just there. And I'm like, wow. Fuck. He's like, what am I going to do? Yeah. Stand here like an idiot? Like, <laughs> I'm not going to let him show me up. Fuck. I'm not a tomorrow guy. <laughs> So yeah, no, it's, it's it's a way to like anti procrastinate. Yeah, still it's still proper with the team, man. It's man, great. proper tea. Like th this is just it's it's loose leaf, so you have to get so one good. of these things. But like it's so worth it. Right, like, and you know what I'll say right away? This reminds me of I, I went to this place again in Thailand. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I fucking love being in Thailand. So yeah, Where man, I'm, I'm super jealous that you went to. I've never we'll, been to, we'll to someday, man. I've never been to out a, uh, like to Asia or like anywhere in Asia. Go to but, Vietnam, man. Is, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's one place I didn't get to hit. And Obviously, love. traveling's hard there. Like for I don't know how Especially long. Now, yeah, yeah it was, it was COVID and everything. It was like, but um, there was this place. I believe it was a Swedish dude that owned uh, this like this company like he'd moved there with his wife and he owned uh, a tea company i forget the name of it unfortunately i'll try to figure it out next time but uh it was this like small tea house in town and the thing was that like the tea house was where you would go and get the tea and they had like a little bit of a distribution thing in the back with like big bags of it and they were shipping it out and whatever but the main part of the company was a little bit further away mm -hmm. and he actually had and he explained it to me he sat down he showed me and he's like my me and my whole team like go and like hand pick and there's like a bunch of photos of like him hand picking like throughout the woods yeah because yeah. uh, they have natural tea grows so they actually had natural green tea grows because a lot of uh yeah, as much as tea is amazing it's like a lot of like actual plantations and, and stuff yeah, yeah, when, yeah. They, when they're done certain ways they kill a lot of crops uh, really? or, uh a lot of deforestation so that's what he was explaining to me no. so so yeah that's why his company like he he prided himself in, i didn't know that at all yeah really yeah. it depends like where i guess and like how they're doing it i'm sure but like deforestation supposedly great it's supposedly tea growth in like a lot of places in Asia and stuff like that mm -hmm. like it, when they use a large plot of land it just happens to because of the methods that they use they happen to def do a lot of deforestation and it's really? like, so again it's like hit or miss because sometimes they try to like they try to like savor the like companies will try to savor the the environment around a bit 
Mm. But what I respected about this guy is he was like, yeah, the whole company, like we made a point of just like letting it grow in the woods naturally, but we keep like a contained does. area. Yeah. And we, he's like, we keep a contained area, but it's fed by the nature. It's fed by uh, the nutrients in the ground. Like even just like, you know, even animals running around and not being afraid to go by this thing that's, you know, maybe protected or whatever. Like uh, they'll, you know, they still will, but uh, it's like... Uh, I hate to say it, but like taking a shit, you know, like an animal taking a shit in the forest and stuff. It's like, it's oh, good, it's it's good for the grass. Like yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So this tea, like this tea was amazing. Like he had all these different like flavors and like, like he would, he would mix them with different herbs and shit. shit. But kidding. yeah, shit tea, dude. <laughs> no, uh, but um, shit coffee. That dude, it was, it was amazing. Like, and what I'm trying to say, like my whole point for even bringing that up is this tea reminds me of that. Like it was like, it's clean. Mm -hmm. It just tastes like herbs. Like it just tastes natural. Uh, it's fucking delicious. Um, but then another cool thing is there's this, uh, I really hope I'm pronouncing this properly, but a term that he said called Miang. I think it's like M-Y-A-N-G, Miang, but it's like fermented tea leaf. And there's a lot of people actually in certain areas where <clears throat> tea is grown a lot and they eat it. And like, not everybody, but if they eat it on a regular basis, a lot of people end up living very long and it's because it's supposedly super antitoxins like really uh yeah like a bunch of nutrients in it and things like that it's really good for your so it's like you know when you hear about those people like living they're like 100 years old it's like there's a lot of those people in those communities that have eaten like fermented tea leaf um wow. on a regular anyway sorry i was kind of straying away for there but no, it was, was, uh, yeah, yeah it's cool uh but anyway yeah just like man just mad respect to kiyoki for not only growing tea but like also growing other shit you know like growing other vegetables yeah, yeah, fresh fresh raspberries raspberries before of fresh raspberries fresh cucumbers yeah. you know how cool it is when you help somebody literally like move a couch and then they come to your house and they just give you like a bag of tomatoes and cucumbers from their garden that tastes like super yeah. fresh and he's like here you go so here's a lot your of people a lot of people it's got like, it got respect. into that eh? like the first like because yeah because we were we were kind of when covid19 hit we were kind of ending it was like march i think when covid yeah. the march 13th 14th when it hit but but we kind of moved out of that a bit and uh, came into the summer and a lot of people like you'd go you'd go uh, try to get like one of those things for like the tomatoes it's like a like kind of like a little not a fence but it's like it, it holds the tomato plant up yeah in yeah your garden, like the you know? spoke thing that yeah spoke it, yeah. Or whatever yeah so like man those were all know, gone right. those were all gone uh, people were just gardening like in their backyards a lot more. And so, in a way, it was interesting to see how, like, people started being more, like, self-sustainable in a sense. It's true. With their gardens and stuff. And Dude, just, totally. Yeah. Like, no, like even just, just everyday people, yeah. like, not everyday people, but people, but people that are doing other jobs and they're just, like, kind of maintaining a little bit of a... Yeah, yeah, dude. Like, uh, well, fuck, I yeah, I even did it. Like, uh, oh, guy, yeah, guy, did, helped, guy helped me a bunch of time too. Uh, you know, I grew, uh, fuck, I mean, I grew four cannabis plants back there, but uh, I grew <laughs> a garden with. It was sick, man. Like, we had so much. We had so. I mean, you know, it's legal now. It's all good. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah I'm just kidding. No, I just think it's funny. Yeah. Um, it was funny because it was sitting there among like other natural garden stuff you know yeah, and you got a bunch of different and, mints too in the back yeah so there was a <clears throat> the one that I, I or the one that i loved the most was the six plant uh herb garden that i had like we had it guy and i actually used a lot of it like didn't use enough of it to be honest i was a little sad because i didn't like harvest enough of it and utilize as much as i wanted to but whatever uh there was a basil one so green ba just your regular italian green basil there was a uh thai basil Mm -hmm. the dark purplish one uh, has like a very like very familiar to like curry or like deep you know deep earthy sauces and things like that um and then there was uh shit what were the other two? Oh yeah oregano uh thyme oh you had oregano really? yeah i had oregano and thyme yeah okay and uh what was the oh yeah yeah and then the peppermint and which actually was kind of weird the peppermint and the uh thai babels will seem to fight a lot and Kyoki might be able to explain that to me. <laughs> yeah, he, but, uh, he, he knows a lot the, about the, shit like And then that, lemongrass. That was the one I liked. Uh, but yeah, yeah, just having that was sick. Because like a couple times, like again, we didn't use this as much as I'd like. But like Guy and I made, uh, we got really into making naan pizzas. <clears throat> just taking naan, you know, put some uh, fresh basil uh, on that. Love, love. Yeah, exactly. Fresh basil from the garden. Like I literally went out there, picked a bunch off. Like we'll just rinse them kind of quickly. Dry and bread, put them on top. Pesto. Yeah, and that's it. Cheese, pesto. A bunch of different Ooh. vegetables. If you've done naan you pizzas with your good old pizza, pizza sauce or whatever try it with pesto like pesto spread is amazing yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. just yeah pesto is super good for that yeah. man you make really good pizzas actually like that thanks um, man <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, uh, uh, yeah it's got cooked bangers and mash last night it was fantastic yeah. some roasted carrots yeah man, man see so that, that, that good food man good food is good food mm-hmm 
Yeah, no, it's really important to eat healthy, man, or just try to anyway. I'm not saying bangers and mash is the most healthiest thing, but like, you no. know. No. Just, I mean, like, cooking and but shit. But also natural like, food, though, right? Like, yeah, you, like, you cooked food. a bunch of potatoes from scratch. You, yeah. You roasted, yeah, yeah. you know. Carrots and carrots. shit. As opposed to, they like, weren't frozen. you know, going to, like, buying food out every day, you know. It's like, fuck. Totally. It's like, especially if anybody who's, like, you know, a lot of people work 9 to 5, you know what I mean? And it's like, man, just, like. There's ways to save money, you know what I mean? It's by buying groceries at the end of the day. It's the most economic, like fucking thing you can do. And it sucks too, and it's also healthier too, because like a lot of the times you're on you're on the go and you're like, oh shit, like I don't know, you're like, oh shit, I you know I gotta stop at fucking McDonald's. Yeah. McDonald's is the shittiest fucking thing for you, man. Like yeah. you, they recommend you eat it once a year. <laughs> yeah, you know I've obviously eaten it like you know, but I try to like not eat it because it's just, like fucked. But like yeah, like you know, so it's like no, it's true. Even Subway, even though like Subway is just as fucking. I bad, go man. there, you know. It's like Subway, I go, like the yeah, bread, the like vegetables, sauce, like, you know, bread, like, like I worked, I worked out of pro. Subway like once. Uh, we're not sponsored by Subway, by the way, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I did work there. I had uh, the opportunity to work there. It was a long time ago. Though. It was when I was young. I was like fucking like eighteen or some shit. Anyway, and so uh, if you use the word cabin sub at any Subway, <laughs> yeah, fifty yeah, percent yeah. off. Get her a shitty ass <laughs> code, fucking. <laughs> That we're not selling you anyway, and uh, and uh, and yeah, man, it was just like it was, it was just like it was like you know, just get a bag in the back of like just fucking like pickles or something, you know. And it's just All yeah, it's just, it's like just ready to go. It's just like it's boom, just... it's like right, it's so processed and shit. It's just well, yeah, alone. Like, and again, it's even like, though it's 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 produce, like even though it is vegetables and it is just like raw vegetables, it's just yeah, there's better ways to acquire them it's at like the end Monzo of the day. Fucking, like, I know we all have busy lifestyles. Don't get me wrong, I get it. Like I get busy days and not fucking taking the time to do shit but like lately just us even doing shit i'm like man yeah, it doesn't really take that long like there's there's, there's being the, busy and then there's being busy you know what yeah, i mean and exactly. like and like that's like yeah, staying like, busy is good for you <laughs> like yeah, in a way you can, if, you, you, if, but. if you want to like i feel like that's like i feel like there's just like and i'm saying this because i used to do this as well but i feel like there's always an excuse that you can make mm -hmm. like oh i'm busy i'm busy it's like oh, fuck that make time like, yeah so, yeah you know what i mean like fuck that like no like just go go find time you know what I mean? And that applies to like everything that you can do. So it's like, yeah. if you really want change and you really want to preserve, per persevere all this like, you know, shit and like you want to actually see true change, you got to just put in the work, man. If it's buying groceries, if it's cooking, taking the time, like, man, you, you know, like, and I'm saying this for myself too. It's like, oh, um, you like, what about that time? What about that night where I watched fucking TV for four hours? Like, was I so busy then? Like, yeah. No. No, I wasn't. It's like I you were just busy, been busy recouping, but that's it. Your brain was well, probably I like, been, I need to recoup. I could have been, been like, cooking, like, you know, making a meal for the whole week. Where yeah. I, that way I save money. Like, you know, if you go to work or something, like, you don't have to spend all this cash, right? Here's the wild part, too. You said four hours of TV. You spent an hour cooking food. You still got three hours of TV. Well, that's it. So it's that's like, it. you really want to watch TV? You still got time. Like, you no, know? no, exactly. So it's yeah. like, I don't know. And I just feel like, personally, for me, like, I don't know, there's probably a shit ton of people who fucking relate to this. It's just like, yeah, like, just like working, you know, doing that nine to five grind. And then like, you come home and it's like, fuck why? Like, would you fucking chill, watch Netflix? And then you mm -hmm. wake up and do it again. Like that's, and then what? And then all of a sudden when you Don't wake up wrong, one day, been there, like, man, like, been no, there. I'm saying it for, but, yeah, I, but yeah, I, I do like, it all the time, but it's just, it's just, I don't know. It, it's daunting yeah. as fuck. Man. Like, it's not <laughs> it's, healthy. Like, I don't it think, just, yeah, it's just hard to think about sometimes. That's all. It's like, I don't, you know, I'm not disappointed at the fact that I watch TV. I'm not, like, pissed at myself that I watch that. It's not, you know, it's, and it's like, you, no one should feel bad for watching shit and, like, coming home and, like, but it's just, for example, if you yourself feel like you can do these things, like, you'll get, and this is just from personal experience, you'll get a positive outcome in your mind once you actually take the action and do it because you wanted to do it you know deep down you want to do it it's just your brain is giving you a barrier so it's like <clears throat> and again i'm just saying this from personal experience because i've done this more lately i've fear, tried maybe too yeah exactly i've tried to really like break through that barrier a bit more when i do reach that wall and i'm like well <clears throat> if i just at least spend even a half hour to an hour and that could go with working out that could go with working on something that could go with reddit whatever it's like if i just do that because i internally want it like i will probably feel better once i actually get there and like even just try a little bit even if i like i said just put an hour in or something but it's like <clears throat> so it's like if you feel that deep down it's like just try to break that wall that's that's all i'm saying is like because i've been there so many fucking times in my life that's why i'm only starting to release music now is because i've just hit a wall of like man i don't want to push past this or i don't want to take the time to actually put the energy into this you know 
And oh, it's exactly. like, but if I did, even just a bit, because I know internally I wanted it, regardless of how my body's reacting to how I want to do it, it's just like, just take the time to try. And then all of a sudden, your brain is shooting off energy that's like, oh, you're actually actively doing it. Sick. Oh, this is becoming a reality. Sick. And then you start to become more positive. Exactly. You so have to sell that it, delusion. It, exactly. Yourself. It's literally trick. It's literally fucking tricking your brain into just succeeding by that's by actually creating like a legit success. real thing. Eh? By creating success. That's yeah, a legit real like that's the psychology man. on it. And shit, yeah, yeah, you're pushing yourself through I mean. that fucking shit. And like, man, there's so many times I'm doing things. My brain's still like, dude, you're fucking this up. And it's just 100%. like, but you know what? At the end of the day, I don't care. I shouldn't care because it's like if I. Like the people who love uh, or are going to appreciate what I'm doing, yeah, will appreciate it, and those who don't won't. Like, so it's just That's like, fine too, man, yeah. like, I, be the people who you can't, know, you know, when I when I leave from this earth, am I really going to care about that all that much? Not really, like, no. you know, no, no, exactly. Yeah. It's like, and again, thing, I don't want to always sound even like with it's money just, and shit too. Like, I was so focused on like, okay, like I got to save money, I got to fucking save money, and like it, it, it's helped me, and like you know, which is great, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I had such a shitty spending habit, like I always just party and man, shit, like same, just my early twenties, man, like like twenty twenty one. I did go to college, which was dope, but like. But like, yeah, like, yeah, just spending money and just like not saving any, like if I would have started like actually committed to saving money when I was 20, like that's the one thing that if you guys are like actually listening, the one thing that I can actually like, even just a little bit, <laughs> no, no, even what I mean, like, but like if you're actually yeah. like listening to like the actual message is what I mean that we're, that we're trying to convey is that like, man, just save money, like whatever it is, like obviously pay off your debts first if you can but like oh, well, totally. you should pay off your no, debts no 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 but I agree with you. that's what I'm saying like if people are actually that age like that yeah, yeah like it's 20. like I wish I had even just put five bucks aside at a time and it sucks because it's like, like nobody because fucking teaches you like, unless you're unless you're like lucky and you have like a dad who's like a lawyer and a mom who's like a financial analyst <laughs> like you know what I mean <laughs> then, yeah they'll tell you like especially well with uh, I think in, in the US it's a Roth or R RIA but uh, over here it's TFSA slash RRSP one of the, one of the registered accounts that you can use but like yeah i wish somebody would have just been like hey man uh fucking open one <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know like put some money in there yeah. and just like never touch it and like i said you'd like you probably 10 years later yeah. you're like oh fuck that's it 10 years it's like you, it's you probably want to do more later. than five bucks obviously like you probably want to do more and than anything that, but anything counts if you think of yeah 10 years of say five bucks a week it's like that's a lot of money bro like <laughs> you know if you really know exactly but, but how you're supposed to do it too is like well one of the techniques that they that, that i've been reading a lot about just different fucking things but learning about different things but over time what one of the best things to do is like basically like so let's say you get paid right let's say you like you you've you've done your you've sold your time to whatever uh employer <laughs> that you have so you sold them your time so for that i love how you put it that way by the way that's what 40 you're hours doing. You're, oh, selling that's, your time. you're selling your time so 40 hours in the week you sold you sold 40 hours of your time to this person you provided a, a service for them and they give you money so then you take that money home and they have all this fucking bills to pay like you know we're we're, we're in the same boat as everybody and <laughs> and and basically what happens love bills bro oh yeah well then so but the first thing that you're supposed to do is you're supposed to the first thing that you're supposed to do is the money that you want to save is the first withdrawal from that amount so let's say you get i'm gonna use random numbers here let's say you get i don't know 900 bucks you know uh maybe it was slow at work i don't know 900 bucks and then like you have you want to save money let's say you know 200 dollars that you know you're gonna save mm -hmm. the first thing you should do is 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 save that two hundred dollars, and then the rest. Then, then you divide rent, bills, yeah. living costs. Yeah, but saving yeah. should be the first thing. That should be the first amount oh, that you I withdraw. See what you mean. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And yeah, that's a really good technique because like putting then it, it in an opposite perspective. Because then you just like forget. It becomes that money almost exists. like a bill payment. Yeah, it comes like a bill payment in a way. It's like oh, I, and but 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 by doing it first, it's, it's a bill for your future. <laughs> Instead of being like, okay, I have money for rent, I have money for this, I have money for that, and then you're left over with this. You know, and that's like, oh, I guess I'll save that, like if I can. Mm -hmm. So if you do it the other way. It's like you're not even giving yourself. An it actually, option. makes sense. Yeah, like, it's, like it's just if you, it, it, for a lot of people, that would probably help. Like if you yeah. put it in that perspective, because yeah, you me, just man. say again, like whatever price amount. But yeah, it's like you throw a couple hundred away or whatever, and then all of a sudden you just divvy out your bills, and then you're like, oh, I got this left for like entertainment, mm -hmm. and like it's hard whatever it's, i want to spend it i said so then you become more meticulous it's hard planning though, but, on what you're like actually. but really what you want to do is every time you get paid it's the 30 percent rule 
So 30% yeah. is, is you take 30% off your pay and that should go into your savings. Okay. And it's, it's a lot harder said than done, but let's say a thousand bucks. That's like what you want to aim for if you can. thousand bucks, can. Yeah, yeah, then you want to save 300. Yeah. And that's per, per, per. And like that will fucking set you up. Like that will set you up. If, if, if you don't know how to do stocks, like there's even stock market is not like overly complicated. Just put your money in ETFs and like just let it grow and just keep buying it like yourself. It's pretty much that. Like that's it's not it's not as crazy shit if you don't know anything about stocks or even just going to like a portfolio manager or just like somebody who does know or like just seek out advice from like you know like and it sucks too because like your parents might not know you know what i mean like your parents might be like shitty with their money you know but like that doesn't mean that you have to be yeah you know and i'm just saying this for the global like masses you know like mm-hmm. just just like just as a well it's like sometimes yeah not necessarily that they didn't like or you weren't like taught the right way to do it or something circumstances but, but yeah but it could we're, be we're not taught though but, in general but no exactly in the same boat it's like you're saying like you could just do it differently in a way that's um breaking away from the norm to actually gain yourself like some real like mm-hmm. security and shit you know and like no exactly some people are really like successful have... in what they do like, <clears throat> obviously but yeah some people never even go to school like so i know people who have a university degree and can't even get a fucking job mm. you know or some people go to university but they're the laziest fucking piece of shit ever you know what I mean? Yeah. Like they're like I've been like, there. I've seen you know that. what I mean? And, and it's, it's crazy like, when I was working. It's cool. You got a university degree. Yeah. That's awesome. And like I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm such a strong believer of just education in general. Not maybe education system, but like education in general. I think it's super important if it's whether it's self education or seeking education or just learning. Uh, totally. Because like, wherever you can get it, and from right yeah, people, yeah. yeah 100%. But also like you know compounding that and just like trying to like oh cool like I don't know something. Like that's how I that's that's how I became like I've become like this like personally I'm like oh shit I don't know something like okay cool I'm gonna go read up on it like yep. you know it took me like what a fuck a week and I already bought an NFT you know what I mean and like I'm not saying NFTs are like you know there's a lot of like there's a lot of new shit that I learned after the fact that I bought an NFT yeah uh, that wasn't really cool that I wasn't really stoked about um, but like. I think there's a lot of potential anyway, but I don't know too much about crypto and all that shit. So I'm no, not like, sure. not going to really comment too much on it. No, I, I mean, you know what, you're learning. taking a risk. Like you're doing your thing. Yeah, it's <laughs> not. At the end of the day, it's out. like 200 bucks. Like it's like, okay, whatever. You know, it's like 200 bucks. It's not, it's not the end of the world, you know, if you lose that. So that's the way I see it. Like tread carefully. But crypto, I think is cool because it's the whole concept of like decentralizing like government, you know, like taking out middleman. Because if you look at it, that's what a bank is. It's middleman. Like mm-hmm. it's, you know, from the actual Bank of Canada, you know, where like their currency is and then like they to to just banks where you have like, you know, and like they're just taking a bunch of fees and shit, you know, mm-hmm. like they're fucking that sixteen dollar fee in your account every month sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Yo represent Tangerine, bro. Zero fees. We're not uh, we're not uh, we're, not, uh, we're not sponsored by those. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we're not sponsored by any of those people. Oh, just yeah. so you know. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, but we're sponsored by KOT actually. So if uh, you guys I was want... talking about the fruit, and, like just tangerine. Oh, I thought you were talking about the bank. No, I was. I was, I was, okay, I was yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. cover it up. Yeah, but yeah, now yeah, we're, we're fucked. Okay, so no way are we related. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think any of this is gonna matter, bro. Oh, no, it's <laughs> I don't not. Think at the end of the day, yeah. at the end of the day, like I'm just saying, if you, if I think the main important thing is if you have a hobby and you genuinely like want to put time to it and you're fearful about it and you're second guessing or you're just struggling to get it started or just struggling to get it started i like man we've been there you know and we're still there in a way but 100 percent, it's crazy it's crazy like what happens when you just like like and like yeah there is no time limit like it took like yeah like like you said I'm, i'm 29 too man and like only now i feel like i'm actually like finally like boom man you same know, it's same. But and i'm like no, i don't care that it didn't happen at 20 no i did fuck. all my fucking learning at 20 you know i did all yeah. my drinking and waking up random places and getting hurt and fucking in situations with people with weapons and fucking you know illegal shit and like i'm not getting all heavy here but i'm just saying you know like that that's what we went through and that's why we're here now <laughs> yeah it's just, it's just a bit of uh you know even cat, like yeah, everywhere you go, there's a bit of ghetto ness, man. Like you know, yeah, it's, yeah. You know, yeah. And I was gonna say, I was about to say, like I had some crazy ass, like like I'm just saying, like you know, we've been in a lot of cities, especially when we were younger, and it's like, but that's the experience that I think has just brought us to where we are, and it's like, yeah, it's kind of nice because I feel like we're more, yeah, it creates you know. character and shit, and it's like I, I, the, something that I remind myself every single day, man, is like, it's just, it's, nobody's gonna give me a handout, you know, nobody's yeah. gonna be like, oh, are you okay? Like, let me check your fever for you, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean, like. 
you know and it's just it's like that again that's another like technique that i i personally use you know like like the same thing like tomorrow guy you know what I, mean? like, I don't want to yeah. be a tomorrow guy but i also like you are know? you saying i want to 30 right now bro <laughs> no but you, you know what i mean so yeah I, don't know. I think it's important i think it's important if you have a hobby that you should kind of pursue it and just try and just just go for it you know what i mean yeah because it's, it's a lot of fun it should be fun yeah it should be fun like we're enjoying this right now like we took the time to finally set it up and it was just like yeah it's nice like yeah. it's fucking cool layout too like, it's, i don't it's, know we're pretty impressed like with that, it. that netflix show is still gonna be there you know what i mean or that yeah. that movie yeah. is still gonna be there like and you know what, you know what in I your mean? time of need when you fucking when you hit that actual you know really like heavy like i you you know just internally that you need to take a break and you need to chill that's fine you make yourself a fucking soup you know you smoke a bowl whatever Oh, 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 oh,